Today I'm going to show you how to prepare an elephant fish. Elephant fish is basically a skate and shark family, more, more of a skate family, and it's mainly cartilage. And only have one bone, and that bone is this one here, very dangerous bone. Okay. So first thing to do is you can look at this elephant fish. It's really lovely and you know, more like a leopard and all that. Call it elephant fish because of its filler here, which is used to scrape the bottom to get food to eat. Okay. First, first of all. I'm going to get rid of this dangerous part of it, the bone, and uh, I'm just going to cut it off. So it's fine, it's fine, it's nice to cut off. It's, also, it's only cartilage, that's why it's easy to cut. Okay, once I've done that part, I'll get off the wing. It's just like a, you know when you cut the chicken wing, it's also cartilage, you know? So you just go around it, just go around the wing, the thing, just like the chicken wing. And that's it, you got one part out. Same thing for the back. It's uh, quite slippery, so I, it's very hard to hold it. I should wear a, a glove or something that's easier to hold the fish. You can see that uh, it's only cartilage, so it's very easy. Once that one is done, I'll do the other side. Turn it over. And do the same thing. See, done. This one. So it's hard to hold the print. That one. Then we got the top fin here. And it's so slippery, so I gotta wash my hands first. Uh, okay. Now how do I do the top part? If I can stand it properly. Actually you need an assistant to hold it, but never mind, you can do it. Just cut off the top part. Watch your finger, your hand. Just part away from your hand is better. See, the top part is done. This actually is quite good. People are talking about like shark fin soup or something. See, it's just cartilage. These are very meaty and very nice to eat also. So you can use the whole thing. Or you can just cut off that one. If I don't do that, I can just cut that one off. Easily. See? That can be eaten. And uh, lots of cut, like chopping soup, cartilage and all that and that's the meat one meat part, really nice and here too, you can do the same thing you can just chop the side off chop that chop that I can leave here, see nice piece, this, another piece really really meaty part and I say it's cartilage because it looks like, like a skate basically, you, you treat it like a skate when you cook, see you can see like a skate wing the line, you look at the skate, you see, basically the same. So the meat also tastes like skate, which I find really good. So that, that's done. Just chuck in the water here. Chuck everything in the water. This bone part is dangerous, so I'm not going to use. So I'm just going to prepare this also as the same thing. Chuck in the water, chuck in the water. Very very windy, so that 
Alright, last one. You actually don't have to remove this, but remove it so easy to cook. Okay, so that's done. That part is done. So you now you got the head part and all that. So what you need to do is you can you you, you cut you get you get rid of the stomach part. So you use a you use a knife or you can use a scissors. Just find the stomach part and run through it. Sorry, this fish is a bit bent. Oh, just wash. It's too slippery. Okay. I think that's my videographer Janice, my daughter. Sorry, I just want to show her how. Okay, this part here, the stomach, see? You just cut through it. With your scissors. See? This is a this is a female one too. Got so some eggs as well. And generally we catch this one at this time of the year. March and April. Up the sun is out again. Just trying to work so that the camera you can see in the camera so it's harder to work that way but no mind we'll try to get something done scissors is really good to just snip away That's almost out all. That's all the gut, which I'm going to temporarily just chuck it off. Chuck, chuck on the floor first. You can see all the eggs, like like basically like a chicken egg. That's why I say this. Huh? And I don't know why at the at the end of it there's always another hard piece. This one, the, the one that I cut before. I don't know what that is. Could be the stomach or some processing thing. Okay, let me wash. There's a few things you can do with this. You can either chop into lock. Let me get rid of the tail also. Oh, I'm not going to get rid of it. Sorry. I want to use it because I want to fillet this instead of... You can chop it into steak. Okay. But I'm not going to do it as steak. So I'm going to just fillet them. Just to fillet it. I just turn it around easier for you to see. You just... You see there's a the bone part here. You just go... Cut in. Because I removed the thing here, it's easier to easier to fill it. Because the bone is soft, so it's not easy to fill it. I mean, it's easy to fill it, but the thing is that you will probably might cut into the soft bone. But that's alright. You can just take it off later. So I got the soft bone the other side. see that the, there's a soft bone there there's not actually a bone there's a cartilage because as I said there's only one bone which is the top
And also notice that you, you, the feed is good. The head is very good because it's very meaty and it's good for like fish head curry or anything. See, there's no bone, there's only one cartilage. So you just cut them right through here. That's it, that's one part of the fish, filleted, and it's very nice, you can remove the skin, or you like, you can actually cut in that and then use the skin, really good for fish and chips also, if you want, and I'm sorry, I've got, still got things to remove here, but that's alright, you can remove it later, and then now, the other side, because it's just a cartilage, I just, easy to remove like this, Two pieces of fillet now, and those are cutlets, so it's all right. You can just cut it slowly off if you want. And that's on. See? No bone, just a cutlet. Here, and there's another piece there. And this one here, you just cut in here. Right? The important thing is your knife must be sharp. And that's why every time I use it, I got to sharpen it. I can sharpen it. So the knife is sharp, stays sharp all the time. Easy to cut through. There's another fillet. Two piece. And that one you can actually cut to make soup or whatever you want. Or, you know, up to you. So you got two piece of fillet. Two nice fillet. And the head. The head here. The head here is easy to prepare also. What you do is... uh. This, 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 the snot. That's why they call an elephant fish. Normally, what you do is you chop it off. You can chop it off, you can see. It's just cartilage. And here, there is a, there's some gill here. So, you've got to cut off and get this gill off. And you can actually chop away half or use the whole fish head for your. As I said, it's very, very meaty until here and here too, all meaty. So, good fish head curry. There's a gill here too. I just use the scissors. See, you can see, you see, you can see the side. There's a gill, small little gill. But the gill are also, you know, don't, don't cut you. It's just soft. Just gotta cut through the cartilage here. I think I use the scissors maybe. What did?
it's very slippery so that's why almost 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 done the gill it's okay you just snip whatever you want and then after that you can tighten it up so if I can get the whole piece out it'll be great remove all both sides already see the gear it's so soft and I think oh no, the one side I think there's another one on the other side yep there's another one on the other side see the other side just cut the tomato off Basically, basically, you just want to empty this, this cavity here. And you see the gear is darker color, you can tell anyway when you wash, until you wash. Skin. I'm just going to fill it them. Everyone, for, uh, that's how I, I prepare the fish. Thank you everyone for watching and uh, hope you catch some elephant fish or any other fish. I think it's the most simple preparation and why. Thank you. Good luck.